Hey guys, this is Parvez. So today I'm making this video to answer the question asked by Tarun Arjun on one of my videos and a few others as well regarding Masters in Data Science. Uh, so I'll try and share some information on this course. Um, so first thing uh, before I start, I would recommend you watch uh, my video on Masters in Data Analytics if you've not watched it before, um, where I've shared some insights on that too. Uh, and it might help because there's, there's a very subtle difference when you talk about you know, um, data analytics and data science. Uh, it's almost the same, um, but in this video, I'll share more uh, insights on that. So first is, you know, before we jump into anything, data analytics is where you've got you know, massive amount of data, and from that data, you're trying to uh, get some insights which will help you in making a better decision. So you've got the data, you try to get some insights and make a decision, right? Uh, so, you know, there are three things that we'll try and break this into. First thing is knowing what you know. So what I mean by this is, let's say you want to do this course, you, you want to do masters in data uh, science. Uh, first thing you can try and do is try to find out that in the last 10 years, what has happened? So in the last 10 years, how many people went for this course uh, uh, to Ireland? How many people have successfully completed uh, their masters? How many people got jobs after completing their masters? And what are the salaries that they're earning? So all these things will give you an idea that what has happened in the last 10 years. And this is something called as descriptive analytics. Descriptive analytics is where you've got historical data and you try to know what has happened. And that helps you in making some decisions. Turns out that after doing a descriptive analytics, um, you know, 80% of the people who did this course have ended up getting a job. So it helps you in making a decision. Now, that is something which is knowing what you already know. Second is knowing what you don't know. So what I mean by this is, now let's say you watched all my videos and you know, in every video I tell you that you know, your hard work is important, you, know, you should try and do good projects, um, you know, you should try and do some volunteering where you can connect with people, uh, you know, and all these things will help you uh, improve your chances in getting a job. So, you know, after watching all the videos, you say, okay, Parve says that hard work and, you know, and, um, you know, going out and meeting people and working on the latest technology will really help. So you decide to do that. Good. So when you come here and you do that in your first semester, uh, you end up getting, let's say, you know, a one is to one for example, 70% marks, and you've really learned something new, you've learned, you worked on some project which uses the latest technology that is probably used by, uh, let's say, Amazon or Facebook or you know, some other big companies. Um, you also did one volunteering, um, so you've connected with, let's say, three people outside of college. Um, so you know, if, you look at the, if you look at this data, now you'll try and predict what could happen in the next few semesters. And eventually, what could happen in getting to the end goal, which is getting a job. So you're trying to predict that you might end up getting a job if you follow this uh, set of actions. Right? This is called as knowing what you don't know. So you don't know if you'll get a job or not, but you're trying to know that based on certain set of actions that you've decided to take. Right? So this is the second part. This is where predictive analytics comes in. So you've got some data based on that you're trying to predict what will happen in the future. Uh, the third is uh, where data science comes in. Right? So third is a bit complicated, but it is uh, you know, where you don't know what you don't know. Right? So you don't know what you don't know. Uh, so you know, this is where example is prescriptive analytics, which is about uh, which is about which is something that I'm doing right now. So uh, you have, you know, you've got this, uh, you know, historical data, you've got uh, predictive analytics, but third is prescriptive analytics where I am trying to, based on the historical data, based on my own experiences, based on the real-time data, based on, uh, you know, my own mistakes, failures, my friends' mistakes, failures, I'm trying to advise you what you, you know, what you, sh what you should avoid in order to, you know, repeat those mistakes and what you should do in order to you know, possibly get a job. So this is where uh, all the real-time data, historical data, all the experiences and everything comes together in making a better decision. So it's not just about knowing what has happened, it's not just about knowing what will happen, but it's about knowing what you could 
do in order to make something happen. So if you want to get a job, I'm trying to tell you based on my research, based on my experience and other experiences I know, that this is something you should try and avoid to avoid failures, this is something you should try and do to get success, and, and this is eventually uh, the goal which is getting a job. It brings me to what you should learn before you come for this course. You should try and look at the basics of machine learning. You should try and look at uh, R. R programming is something I recommend. You should try and look at Hadoop as well. Uh, you should try and you know just read the basics about all this. And in fact, I'm going to start a video series where I'll be introducing you to all these uh, tools and technologies to get you started. So you should do that in order to prepare yourself for the masters. Once you've done this, then you've actually improved your chances of doing well in the masters, which eventually means that you've uh, improved your chances of getting a job. You know, hopefully this gives you some idea about the masters. The colleges and universities that you can look at are, um, you know, you can look at TCD, DCU, uh, UCC. Uh, you can look at um, UCD. Uh, you can look at NCI. Uh, NCI also has a good uh, data analytics course. Uh, so some of these colleges and universities. Try and look at their course modules. Try and see which one is the best one you think is for you. And then get in touch with me if you have any questions. It will make it easier for me to answer those questions um, and then help you get to, to what you want to achieve from that master's. Um, and, you know, uh, one thing that you need to understand is the more you try to help each other, the more you will learn. If you like the information I shared, like my video, share it with others, and uh, leave a comment if you've got any questions, and I'll try and answer those questions for you. Thank you.